Okay, right now Virgo is being uploaded um, during this uh, nice uh, December period. I'm coming to the end of it and it's taken me some time. Now we're on to Cancer, my final one. And, you know, I want to say for you right now, Cancer, before I go in for this card, you know, the situation that we're under, we need to move on. Whoever we're with, we're not compatible with them. We're with, you know, usually Cancer is with um, an Aries, Aries or a Libran. You know, they blend well with a Cancer because Cancer, you are to the point where loyalty and love and togetherness and comfort is what the Librans need. Aries kind of likes your strength and your ability to step back a bit and then you step forward when absolutely necessary. So, you know, comparing the sun signs, you know, they're good compatibility for you, Aries and Libra. You know, this situation that you're in right now, you're needing to move on. You, you know, right now, if you're not moving on, you're not seeking more from life. You're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're devoting yourself far too much to try and help another person when you need to work on yourself and get things done for you for the future. You know, you're going to be known right now, and especially during this pandemic, our mind changes to different things where, you know, we're, we're in a moment of sensitivity and cancer, you are known for being sensitive and emotionally in tune to other people though. You know, you're known for being compassionate at this period of time, affectionate and nurturing. Uh, they, you know, you, you're gonna be tend to be a little shy at first with a situation. That's why, you know, there is an order for these cards, but I have been told to move directly to the falling in love bit because this is why we need to move forward in the current situation we're in because there is another person waiting in the scenes for you to help you on this journey. Know and have the reassurance that you you are loved and that things, there are good people out there and that things will get better. <laughs> but you're having no trouble falling in love fast but during that time you want romance you want to be able to forgive the other person that it never worked out with because um, that ends the challenges in your life you're not holding on to this deeper inner grudge or hurt inside it's not serving a purpose as I said with Virgo you know a situation shouldn't be held on to if it's negative. We need to turn it and flip it around, try and make peace with the other person, and then you can go your separate ways in good terms instead of having grudges because the grudges will open up and be a seed for the next situation that you're going to go through. But I'm excited for you for this December period and into January 2021, you know, because you're going to be ready for that little bit of fun in 2021. But here it comes for you. It is going to happen. You know, your ambitions uh, have been on fire since the second half of 2020. And that's when it started. And that second half, you had these ambitions ready to go. Um, and you could have made some serious headway on some key goals. That's what I feel right now for you. Relationships have been... I'm going to say the word. And I think... I've got to put the right word in. Relationships have been percolating. And, and you know, percolating to the point where, you know, you're given the conditions of the world. Um, it's amazing how unstoppable you've been in the face of things, though. During this situation... Moving forward is a good thing for you right now, but it isn't all lost yet. It's not ready to move forward. But you're going to need to move on on a situation right now, whether it's forgiving somebody. But it doesn't mean you could fall in... Actually, it means you can fall in love with the person you're with right now. But forgiveness and talking and being able to work together is the only way that you're going to get back a little bit of that spark in your life. 
If you're sensitive, you need the time out to reflect on your own and you don't like to be pushed. Now I think having an area sign is good, but they can be a little bit pushy with you from time to time. Let it go. Don't see it as a, a grudge or that they don't like you or they're aggravating you. Just see it that they care. And then once you put that in your head, block out the aggravation side and the negativity and move forward. Allow that other person to say what they want to say. Then you tell them and you communicate in the best way that you can. But I like this whole thing about you being unstoppable in the things that you've had to face. But there is one thing that you could be edging into. A burnout. Because you, you know, be doing too much at the same time. The only way we can get... The, actually, this card shows the first time you've been able to reflect. Have you, when was the last time you looked at the moon? When was the last time you sat down on your own outside? And taking a few deep breaths through the nose and out the mouth. When? If it hasn't happened, do it. This is all part of making a new change in your routine and lifestyle. This can only happen if you decide to forgive. Because you could be with a person and you haven't got to forgive them. And it could be a friend that you've got to forgive. Or it could be the other way around. You could have this moment of, I can't forgive the person I'm with. So therefore, I can't put my mind to focusing on friendships with people right now because I'm trying to deal with this current relationship. Or it could be that your friendship with people, there's issues there. So it's troubling you. So therefore, you're bringing your troubles home. You might have been on the phone to a friend and you have those troubles in your mind. So it's important not to take it out on the partner that we have because just because we are trying to sustain, trying to work out things with a person doesn't, or persons doesn't mean we can't continue what's going good for us in our current relationship. We can't shut down to, uh, from everybody when our whole personal goal and objective every day to try and be consistent which isn't going to happen all the time because we're human, um, to try and be consistent in sustaining the very relationships around us. Bonding and supportive action towards the other person is needed and them doing the same back with a like-minded soul would be a joy for you because it would help you with your sensitive side that needs a little bit of a shake-up but not using the past as a way to deal with your issues. Let's work on why we're feeling sensitive too much to certain things that are just small. But they might not be small to you but they might be small to others and your partner's got to explain themselves why they think that you're using your sensitive side too much on one particular situation that they find not, isn't a big thing. But it is a big thing if, if it's to do with loyalty and opening up and talking and listening to one another. And if that's not a big deal to the other partner, then that's nothing to do with sensitivity. That's just them being a little bit pig-headed and recognising nothing but themselves and their own version of philosophy. And it's not a philosophy to say, or wisdom, to say that love and commitment and loyalty and clarity and reassurance and no doubting is, isn't big things, because they are. That's what the Virgo, uh, Virgo wanted in their relationships. And I think that's what cancer wants with the lover that they're with presently right now and up and into 2021. And if that other person can't recognise that these are important things in a relationship, then they're not taking your sensitive side very seriously. Another part of you is going to savour having more privacy because... 
Jupiter and Saturn are spending their first full month of a long visit, and we already said this before, in Aquarius as well. While Mars has you branching out to new connections, um, and that new connection could very well be falling in love with somebody else, but we need to find 